The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City. They take on Chelsea next on EA TV Live. And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Nkunku. That's a good-looking ball. How about the cross? Rodri. De Bruyne now. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Not problematic for the keeper. Read it superbly to take back possession. Gallagher. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And offside. Well, close one. <laughs> Mares. And take it away. Nkunku firing it towards goal and that's sound goalkeeping He's driven in the corner.
Riyad Mahrez. Run it well. Sterling. This might be ideal for the counter. Holland. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Forcing opportunity. Mares. Now Walker. Kovacic. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Noni Madueke. Beautifully disguised ball. Nkunku. And the keeper had the measure of it. So the corner played into the box well, not the best clearance Chilwell and now Sterling and with that the attack fizzles out well as you can see it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment yes a very accurate assessment can they open things up here Kovacic can he put them ahead? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Set pieces can be so important. Let's see what City have been working on. Yep. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, he failed to get it away properly. De Bruyne. Can they convert? Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Corner kick played in. The first half here comes to an end. Five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Kovacic and return to Grealish. It is advantage Manchester City here. Well, he was very keen to give them the advantage, but instead it will be a free kick now. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Well, he can't say he hasn't been warned now. That's good from the referee. towards that far post well they've won possession back what can they do from here Stones Holland pressure exerted but he keeps the ball could have been awkward for the goalkeeper Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Goal. 
Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. And he read it well defensively. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Robbery. Holland. Kovacic! Oh, in it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever backfield, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. Interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Madueke. Manuel Akanji. Grealish. They could really get at the opposition. De Bruyne. And alarmingly, that is a long way off target. Take it away. Walker. Robbery. On to Holland. Grealish. And offside by the merest of margins. Substitution time it is here. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Rodri. Walker. On to Mares. Return to Walker. Erling Haaland! A goal! Absolutely spot on and then the finish is just as good from Haaland he just strikes the ball with such power and accuracy that's a wonderful goal and the ball is moving again 2-0 is how it stands and a big chunk of added time here a minimum of five minutes Mares. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then this is a top-class strike from Mares. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. And there it is, full time, Manchester City. 
City, Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. The Champions League victors, Manchester City.